Superman, top as well, catching Costigan, managed to work with catching. I pulled her out of the crowd to run commentary. You had a show before, so great moment to finally call one of our fights. And I'll say it's a huge undertaking for Haley Valentine, making her professional debut after a three and three amateur mark. Has a BJJ purple belt, does Haley? So maybe looking to take this to the ground, but again, all of. Oh, sorry, four of Catherine's wins have come by way of submission, so we could see a real interesting battle on the ground. Just the failing out process here, so although the experience is with Catherine Costigan, and she's going to want to have a look at Hayley Valentine and see what she can offer. Valentine in on the takedown. Wide base by Costigan. Haley Valentine, the younger fighter at 24 years old, Costigan, 41. Don't mention the age, Phil. But in terms of relative fight experience, last time that Haley competed was March 2020 at a Battle Arena 59. She won that fight via third round TKO. The last time we saw Catherine was in September of 2019. So again, it comes down to that age old question, is ring rust, is cage rust a factor in combat sports? But again, Catherine will be very active in the gym as well and creation MMA but good pressure here by Haley Valentine keeping the more experienced Raskin up against the cage and Catherine of course is she's hurt her she's hurt Catherine Costigan here oh Catherine's starting to shell up a little bit big shots being landed worked to the body and then Haley went up to the head and was Costigan look hurt? Was that a little bit of potential naivety on the part of the young O and O pro? She was she hurting. Is Costigan. certainly Costigan is grimacing here, Phil. Sorry to cut across, but she is grimacing. I think she could have hurt her ribs or something here. She's in grave trouble here, catching Costigan. Almost looked like she was going to tap there as well momentarily, but right in front of her corner, Hey Levanatan is showing the veteran a new look. Oh. What a feather in the cap this would be of Healy Valentine if she were to come in in her professional debut and take the scalp of someone like Catherine Costigan. She looked like she just, whatever it was, landed. I didn't quite see it. It looked like she hurt her to the body. And as you know, Phil, sometimes when you get hit to the body, you can, oh, it's just, horrible. you're just taken away. And nice elbows on top as well. That's a new tool that Valentine can use in his position in the professional ranks, of course. Just establishes the mount seamlessly. As you say, I'd like to see her frame off and land those elbows. Frame off with the hands and crash those elbows down. But Costigan really needs to get to the hip here, push down the knee. And as you say, that's going to be all the more difficult if she is indeed compromised. I really do think she is compromised. She doesn't seem to be moving freely, although obviously Hayley Valentine is on top of her here, but she seems to be grimacing at every movement she is making. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Again, just methodical work establishing the position as the BJJ as the BJJ purple belt. Total control, Phil. Has that gift wrapped arm just freeing up space to land those big shots and Costigan has got to move. She's got to improve her position. Easily sets that here. Can she do it? Beautiful elbow. And Haley Valentine. This is a clear 10-8 thus far. As Can she get the finish? And as you said, Phil, what a feather in the cap that would be. Oh, another big elbow right to the dome. And she can do this for even longer because as we're now in the pro ranks, we're talking three five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are legal. Knees to the head are legal. Costigan is in survival mode. Haley Valentine is starting to land big shots down. She senses the end is nigh. Deggy Larkin taking a long, hard look at it. Haley Valentine just unleashing. 
This is the beginning of the end. It looks like here. Can Costigan survive? Haley Valentine. What a performance. Bellowing as she hits each shot here. Catherine Costigan has taken a lot of shots without any reply. Decky Larkin asking Catherine to show him something. Big, big performance. Decky Larkin looking very, very close. Just over 40 seconds to go in the opening round. Can catch and cost again, make the bell. Huge big strikes and again, Costigan really not offering anything. Potential back tech here. Trying to move, trying to better her position is catch and cost again. And it may not be the 14th of February, but right now it really is Valentine's Day. I'll allow it, I will allow it, no more though. Big shots, Valentine here. Credit catching Costigan, she's staying in there, she's trying to survive, 10 second clapper goes, Valentine heard that so she's unleashing elbows, elbows, right across the dome of catching Costigan, ladies and gentlemen if you're unsure what a 10-8 round looks like, you've just seen it, Catherine Costigan making her way back to the corner, what a performance by Hayley Valentine. No, I would make the point, have we potentially seen a 10-7 round there, because that was just sheer dominance from Healy Valentine, and you wonder just how compromised is Catherine Costigan gonna be going into potential second round here? She does look like she's favoring something there. She does look like something has been compromised or hurt. Even the way she's moving, isn't it? Yeah. She's sort of... Uh, but that's not to take away from the, the incredible she, effort by Healy Valentine. She was hurt for what Valentine done, but... Yeah. Be interesting to see the corner here, how he feels. It looks like a potentially a discussion could be had about are you ready to go back out there? And Catherine Glass is going to be said an absolute pioneer and legend of Irish MMA. You know, but Father Time waits for no man, Phil, or no woman. It catches up with us all and fighting a new hungry lion. Decky Larkin asks Catherine, is she okay? Costigan, of course, the fighter she is, of course I am. Catherine is that type of fighter that is going to want, like, if she's going to go out, she's going to want it to be on her sword. She needs to garner some respect, and Ailey Valentine puts her hands out and say, yeah, let's go. And if you look in the corner of Valentine, there's just a confident smile, almost of, I know what's going to happen next. Valentine does look to have the, the, the cleaner movement at the minute. And you can see Koskin is just tentative, isn't she? She's almost yeah. afraid to do something in case. Afraid is the wrong word, but she's just Reluctant. cautious of what is going to fire back if she attacks. Trying to faint, trying to get Valentine to bite on movement, but Valentine not biting. And Costigan's face is certainly wearing that first round. to the body and goes up high but Valentin just shakes that off you wonder if Valentine will use her strikes again very much like she did in the first round use her strikes to close the distance get the takedown because her best work in that first round really came when she was in the dominant position on the ground landing big hammer fists landing elbows But a wounded alpha female is a very dangerous alpha female. That's another big shot to the midsection. Grimace on the face of Costigan. Yeah. Trying to dig in for the double underhooks. And again, it could be something like a rib there, No. Yeah, I think Valentina is aware of it too. And that's why these shots are coming in, Phil. But looking for the trip is Katrin Costigan. Although she may have been beaten in the first round. As game as they come, man, Absolutely. Isn't she? Nice head position there from Healy Valentine. And again, when you look at it, it just goes to show, doesn't it? Amateur records. You know, you think a fighter with a certain record, you, you yep. might you might have a feeling that, oh well, if we on and lost, you know, there's not nothing great there, but that is where essentially you learn your trade. You step up to the pro ranks and Hayley Valentine is showcasing that she is a legit mixed martial artist and was putting a beating on a very experienced veteran in that opening round and putting a lot of pressure on Katrin Costigan here in the second round up against the cage in front of her corner as well. 
I'll say it till, till I'm blue in the face. You cannot judge a fighter based upon their amateur record. Patrick Lehan being one of the greatest exponents of that. Good head position, just making life horrendously uncomfortable for Katrin Koskin in every avenue of this fight. It's all those irritating little microaggressions that she's doing so well within the fight, though. The head position, the little pot shots back into the clinch, knees to the inside of the thigh. It's constantly giving Costigan some sort of stimulus to worry about. Just burying that head right underneath the chin of Costigan. Costigan needs to improve position here and be a dig for an underhook, try and turn her opponent, separate, but seems at the moment, Phil, it's a little bit of pick your poison and probably this isn't the worst moment she's endured so far. I know you love those little foot stumps being implemented as well by Healy Valentine. Yeah, I'm old school, I'm dirty, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a strike, isn't it? That it's just it's it's horrendously sore for that moment that it lands and it's just nasty, all them little bones in your foot. It's like standing on a piece of Lego. It's unforgiving. <laughs> Haley Valentine just being so methodical in her approach. Yeah. Not giving Klossigan any kind of space, any kind of, uh, uh, of respite with which to work. She's not giving her any time to even think about how she progresses, how she gets out of this situation. For somebody making their professional debut, this is a fantastic performance. And she knows she's got that big first round in the bank, so she doesn't need to go wild to try and gain an advantage. She's... A couple of furlongs ahead if you're looking at horse racing here, you know what I mean? She's way ahead in this fight, so she doesn't need to do anything. It's Katrin that needs to change something. Gain the respect of Valentine. Again, yeah, it's just five minutes of cumulative damage. Pulls it down, looking to take the back here to Clapper. Potential triangle throw up here. Jinx. And again, it'll be interesting to see how Costigan makes her way over to her corner. The and Haley Valentine walking with her two hands up in the air. Interestingly, Phil, what advice would that corner be giving now, Katrin Costigan? Is in, it's two difficult rounds. As a coach, looking at such an experienced fighter, what do you tell them leading into this third and final round? The, the bigger question is, do you keep her in the fight? That's the question that needs to be asked right now. Is there, for being dominated for two potential 10-8 rounds, one of them potentially even a 10-7, what does it benefit Katrin Costigan to stay in there for a third round? Third and final round, Ailey Valentine, Katrin Costigan, Clan Wars professional, Adam Wade Bout. And you can even see now that Valentine is getting more confident in the striking rounds as well here. Will we see urgency from Katrin Costigan to try and pull off a comeback victory? Again, right back to the cage wall. That's where the majority of the second round was spent and so far with, with the greatest of respect to, to Catherine Costigan and everything she's achieved in mixed martial arts she hasn't really been able to mount much of an offense against Valentine yeah it's 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 all one-way traffic at the moment in that department Ideally, what you would like to see from Costigan is try to create a little bit of separation, tr try and mount some sort of offense at distance. But again, you know, we, we do have that sneaking suspicion that there is something somewhat compromised there. You can still see, I don't, maybe perhaps it's the mount guard of, of Katrin is so bright or something that is popping out, but it's almost like a grimace every time something lands. Mm. That you would think there's an injury somewhere there. 
again. Just the positional work of, yeah. of Haley Valentine is absolutely on point. Just has that underhook position, has the hands clasped, and mobilizing the hips of Costigan. Her level is fantastic. Just any time she feels movement from Costigan, she changes her level. Make sure that she digs that head underneath the chin because where the head goes, we know the body follows. The only if you if you're going to have any kind of critique about about Haley's performance, it's the fact that she hasn't finished yet. That's really the only yeah. thing I can say. That's not even to her detriment. Just if I had to pick something, that's the only thing that I could shine a light on. She seems to be in a position where. She has Katrin up against the cage here, and she's happy to keep it there. She's not really yeah. chasing to get her down to the mat and, and maybe dominate the way she did in the opening round, but... She knows she doesn't again, have to. She doesn't have to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't have to. And, you know, you, you wouldn't think, but maybe there's a little bit of respect there that, you know, she respects Aiden Katrin Koskin for what yeah. she is, and, you know, you've seen that with um, Adesanya when he fought Anderson Silva, that mm. the, the respect was there. And maybe that is there. Maybe Haley Valentine just feels, you know, this is a, a legend and pioneer of, of women's MMA. So, you know, I don't want to make her look bad or, or, or finish in that sense. And that's not to say Katrin Costigan is looking bad. She's just getting outmatched and out, out fought in this bout. Referee Dickie Larkin called for a little bit of action there. Just two minutes to go, third and final round. And you got to think that. Hayley Valentine is on a, sailing her way to a victory here unless Katrin Costigan can manage to summon up something, some special moment. But Phil, I believe it would have to be something special. It, it, it would have to be the, the, the equivalent of, of a, a home run in, in the dying minutes. Uh, an Ole Gunnar Solskjaer goal in the 1999 European Cup final. That's the type of moment that Costigan has to try and summon up right now. What a moment. She's got her separation, so she has to just go for it. She knows she's behind. Easier said than done, though, when your opponent has been taking advantage of everything you've thrown at them. Needs to let her hands go. Spin it back, fist lands. Just potentially glanced. could have knocked the equilibrium there, but as you said, Phil, just glanced. Costigan ducks under that shot. But again, Haley Valentine uses Costigan's momentum, turns her to the cage and stuffs and drives that head under the chin of Katrin Costigan. Under a minute to go. And it's almost like Haley Valentine has got the cheat sheet on Katrin Costigan here. She knows every time she tries to do something, she already knows the answer. But a big, big performance by Haley Valentine on her professional debut. This is a statement. The feather mightn't be as big if she got the finish, but it's still a big feather in her cap on her professional debut to get a win over somebody like Katrin Costigan. And Phil, potentially we may have had the honor of calling Katrin's final fight, you might think here. What else does she have to prove? And she's fighting young fighters like this. It's always going to be difficult. Ultimate respect paid. Haley Valentine, what a performance. You know, with, with the greatest of respect to, to both fighters, we may have just witnessed a, a passing of the torch moment in yeah. women's mixed martial arts. And you can see just how much it means to Haley Valentine. Absolutely huge. The, Drinking in the applause, showing ultimate respect to her opponent. Surely the decision is a formality, but still need to make it official.
Ladies and gentlemen, one.